What's going on, people? I want to show the tanks. Did a big water change yesterday. Didn't really trim any plants except for the pearl weed. And then I trimmed some of the uh, sturgeon rippins um, right down here and replanted some tops. I'm trying to get it to, to fill in all this area down here. So any chance I get that I can clip off some tops and replant them, I uh, I do that. But I don't know this pearl weed. At first, I really liked it. I, you know, I got it planted, got it in here, and it, it filled in really nice. But now it's like. Every time I trim it, it just looks rattier and just, I don't know, I, I'm seriously starting to second guess using it. Now, in the 30 gallon, it looks pretty good, so not sure. But the other thing I really like is, I don't like the plant itself, but just how this needle, needle, java fern is growing up on that it, it just looks pretty cool I mean you can see it all the way across um what else the sword just keeps impressing me how big it is but overall tanks doing really well um as you've seen in my other video of the quarantine tank, if you watched it, getting some more fish. I'm actually getting ready to probably order some fish, have them shipped in. Uh, just local pet stores aren't carrying what I want, and ordering through them is a pain. So uh, I'm just going to start ordering them directly myself. But yeah, I just want to show off this tank after a big water change. So the big Reuben sword in there. Thing looks really nice. But the other thing in this tank, I'm also noticing you can see it a little bit on this crinum. You get a little. Um, it's not really hair allergy, but it just I don't know what it is. I mean I know it's an allergy. So. Uh, it's kind of sort of the same stuff I'm dealing with in the other tank. But hopefully those flagfish, flagfish like to uh, nibble on algae and stuff. So I got eight of them. So hopefully that'll do, do some good in here. The other thing I'm noticing, and you could probably see it a little bit better on the swords, some blotchiness on the leaves. You see a little bit here on the Anubis. Um, currently I don't dose any fertilizers. Uh, I'm wanting to get in doing the dry ferts, but I just haven't got around to doing it. Um, I, I want I want to get a, a dosing pump hooked up uh, to actually do it for me so it can come on you know first thing in the morning before the lights come on and you know dose and get everything kind of put into the tank before the lights co2 come on but i actually got my co2 regulator for this tank so i can get a a big tank co2 tank for this one so i need to get my reactor built for this get the the bottle i'll probably do a 10 10 pound bottle so i got a lot of stuff still to do it's just right now time is crazy busy I don't know if the color will even do him justice in the camera but that Australian rainbow right there has some very pretty color sorry lost my focus so I do have a lot of equipment and things to get running on this tank I I still even have the the new LEDs um, to get brighter light in here 
but really I don't think it needs the brighter light until I can get the fertilizer and the CO2 going and really just get these plants just popping but I just want to show off the tank uh, had it hadn't shown it in a few weeks um, really before the the last video I done right before the the end of the year so here's the 225 and I'll give you guys a quick look at the 30 gallon tube so here's the 30 gallon like I said um, I, I did a water change on it also but the only thing I really did in here was I trimmed the pearl weed but besides that I cleaned all the filters too I guess um, along with the water change but it seems like everybody's doing good in here it's just kinda doing its own thing nothing nothing real big happening in here um, I do need to go get the CO2 bottle refilled it it ran out this week um, but yeah see one of the pygmy quarries I actually seen both of my stone catfish yesterday while I was doing my water change so that that's good to know that they're they're still in here they hide pretty good um, and you'll never really see more than probably two or three of the quarries at the same time um, except for if you're doing a water change it, it just kind of brings them all out uh, it's the same way with the other tank when I'm doing a big water change all the fish will come out and they'll they'll start schooling together and that's pretty cool because I got like 10 of those auto auto cats and and they'll sit there and all school around the tank together and the quarries will all go together and I think I've still got six of those but anyways people that's all I have to show so um, let me know if you like the video shoot me a comment and we'll talk to y'all later